Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. It is very snowy right now here. We're just out right on the uh, border of Oregon and California. And what we got going on here today is we are going to Abbotsford up in British Columbia at the Costco there. We have used packaging, 38,772 pounds of it. And uh, we're using the frosty winter weather mod with the snow physics. Uh, and with the heavy winter mod as well that adds a ton more snow. So it's going to be slick. We're going to, have to be on top of our game and uh, I'm going to be ready to do uh, our drive today. Let's do a little bit of a free trip. Why not? Hop on out of the truck here and we can come over here and I'll show you. We can look underneath the trailer. Look at how all this stuff's modeled, man. You see the uh, kingpin in there. You see how it's perfectly in there like that. Very nice. Not bad at all. We're using a Warren Transport Incorporated uh, skin pack that is on the steam workshop and uh, they're based out of Iowa I believe Warren is and I made it as uh, close as I could to their actual uh, truck that looks good there oh we don't have our lights on duh you can probably turn our lights on we can actually see what we're doing here there we go let's turn our flashes there we go it's nice we can do this from the outside view <laughs> or that I'd have to get up into the truck and get going that way but all our lights are working and everything's good there Loving the Cascadia, man. I am truly, truly loving the Cascadia. Um, I wish I could have a little bit more of a smoother movement with this uh, outside view, but that's okay. By the way, if you want to know how I do this, I have the console added, but uh, if you hit the zero key, uh, then you can use the numpad keys to move around. Great looking truck. I'm ready to get going in the snow. I don't know about, yeah, right there, Waterloo, Iowa. That's what it is. All right, before we get going, I always get asked the question, Jeff. How do you freely look around the cab of your truck? That is track IR. It is on top of my head. Uh, you might even see it in the wheel cam a little bit here and there uh, today. I don't know. Let's put this thing into gear. We're using an automatic transmission. Now, one thing we're going to talk about is Jake breaks in the snow. Um, in this game, I have done it. It doesn't seem to be a big problem or anything like that. Uh, but that is a huge debate within the trucking community out there. There's ride or die guys that are like, well, that's just what I do. I drive with my Jake's on all the time. And then you have guys that are like, you know, straight out of CDL school. They told us not to do this. We're not supposed to do this. It's very conflicting information. Now, I will preface all of this by saying I am not a real truck driver. I don't have a CDL. I'm a fake truck driver. So I'm not really sure who to believe because I go to everybody else for that kind of, uh, you know, information. Let's be careful here getting on the highway. It's real slick, man. Real slick. Um, and it seems to be like I haven't figured out an actual, you know, uh, answer to that question. Um, so we're going to use the Jake brake today. It's a, it's a sim, you know, we're not going to jackknife the truck or anything like that. Uh, it works. And there's a lot of guys that say, Hey, you know what? The Jake's on anyway. So it's not a big deal. Some guys are like, I run medium in the snow. I don't care. I've read that on all those trucker forums out there. Cause I, you know, before I did this, I wanted to make sure we were doing something decent. Um, so I'm kind of in the middle. There's guys that say, yeah, you do it. And there's guys that say, no, don't worry about it. So uh, we're going to have our engine brake on. And this is a automated transmission. Don't call it an automatic transmission. Them super truckles will get you on that one. Don't call it an automatic, man. Uh, also, thank you guys. For the love and support you showed on the last video we just did a fun silly video sometimes we do that in american trucks and we get a, a silly fun one to uh you know have some fun and we did the runaway ramps and uh i don't know if it's a mod or what i got in here maybe it's the you know the truck physics mod but those runner ramp runaway ramps don't work for me and people have said that they work for them so i don't know who knows it says 65, but man, we're not going to be doing a lick over uh, over 55 today. This might be a longer video because we are going to be driving through the night into the morning on our way up into British Columbia, but you never know what to expect. So with this, you know, physics mod, so see how we're slowing down here. Look at this. He's going to get in front of me and hit the brakes like an idiot already. Dude, why did you do that? Oh my God, this AI, man. When you have the snow physics mod in, you don't have brakes. So when they just jump in front of you and slam the brakes for no reason like that, that's what you deal with right there. Oh man, starting it off strong, aren't we? 
That scared me. That scared me just a little bit. Uh, I guess, you know, I thought we had a good following distance, but he came over and just freaking slammed the brakes, man. Yikes. We're good, though. We're good. We're good. Let's call, we're, we're, we got our astronaut with us. That's all that matters to me. So, that's what we're doing today. Right there, you saw it. I, I mean, I had no brakes. I couldn't stop that thing. So, let's go ahead and jump our um, engine brake up a little higher here. Right there. Maybe that's going to help us out a little bit more with stopping the truck because with this mod, you have no, you have a no brakes. <laughs> I can tell you that you just don't have brakes. So yeah, that's one thing I've noticed, you know, just from doing uh, America Truck Sim as long as I have here on the channel is that you're just going to get conflicting information, man. You're going to get guys to say this or that. I don't, I don't know who to believe. I just go off of what I read on the forums, you know, of real truck drivers. And, and I have real friends that are, I have friends that are real truck drivers and I ask them questions about that stuff. I mean, I try to do things as legit as I can, but it's a sim and there's some things that you can't do. One of the biggest ones was that in the uh, in the runway uh, truck ramp video, people were telling me to downshift. I'm like, dude, it's an automatic transmission. Now, we drive a lot of manual transmissions here in this series. We do. I love driving a transmission like that. It's my favorite. Um, but it's also... You know, not realistic when you get like a company truck. <laughs> Look at that. Speaking to the devil. There's old Swift right there. Speaking of the devil. Um, but there's, uh, you know, a l all the trucks today are moving towards autom automated. Don't call it an automatic. There, don't you dare. You ain't know what the hell you're talking about, boy. Uh, automatic transmission, automated transmission, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, that's what they're moving towards. So that's the reason why when I'm doing a company truck run like Warren or something like that or... You know, we did, uh, we did CFI and Swift and stuff. We use automatic, automated transmissions because of that reason. Yeah, I'm sticking to this uh, lane right here, man. It is coming down. Oh, those lights look great. Those look real nice. Let me get over to the right because we're going to be going uphill here in a minute. All right, we're good on that side. Yes, we are. Um, so that is the thing. Whoa, man. Love, she's going to try to kill us today. Jeez, Louise. Oh, this, of course, this lane's going to end now, so I got to get over, bud, after this car. We got to get up this hill. We do, we do. Oh, watch out. They're stopping up on top of the hill for whatever reason. I know it's slick out, boys, but jeez, man, we don't need to be doing 30 miles an hour up the damn thing. Um, uh, I forget what I was talking about. Who cares anyway, right, Jeff? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, with the uh, runaway truck ramp video, we were t I don't even remember now. It's all right. I'm sure we'll remember it before too long. Oof. That, that one caught me off guard, man. That dude just slamming the brakes. I mean, he just came to a complete stop in front of us. So we're back to using CIP's awesome traffic density mod. I absolutely love it. Oh, I don't know what else I wanted to talk about. Man, I got a pretty, pretty hateful comment. I mean, I get hate comments all the time, but you know, in the last one we did on the Freightliner Cascadia release video, I was just, you know, saying, you know, thanks, you know, for everything. And if, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at and, you know, all that stuff. And, and a lot of you that have been watching this series have been watching me since back in the day when I started and you know, everything we have gone through as a channel at me as a person and you you know that I don't have a fake persona or anything like that uh, I never chose a pseudonym you know I used my real name my legal name uh, I never thought that I would be where I am today that's for certain um, but you guys remember the uh, airport vlogs and me driving my car when I bought my was it 94 no it was, it was a 98 Saturn a wagon the SW4 and there are people like, that thing's a piece of crap, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, uh, I bought this car and I own it. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, so a lot of you guys remember all that kind of stuff. What is this guy doing up here? I don't like this. Slowing down for this. And uh, a lot of you remember that. And uh, I appreciate that stuff, you know? I grew up dirt floor poor with nothing. 
for many, many years of my life. Um, you know, even whenever my mom and dad were uh, together before they got a divorce, they um, they did a really good job of making us feel like we were, you know, good to go. Like we never felt the pressures of being poor until I actually moved to, we moved to uh, Lebanon, Missouri after my mom and my dad uh, divorced. We lived uh, in Lebanon, Missouri, and that's whenever I really knew what it was like because my mom had to uh, go to work and, you know, put food on the table for three kids uh, as a sole person. So I knew what f poor was whenever we were living in the trailer park to trailer park to trailer park. Moved to Montana, lived off the land for a year. Um, learned how to build a house. Uh, we actually had to, like, dig a well in Radar Creek. Raider Creek. That's what, not Radar. Raider Creek up there near Whitehall, Montana. And uh, we learned to build a a house and, and, and all that stuff. And we had an outhouse. Like, I, I knew what it was like to not have anything at all. You know, and then whenever... Uh, uh, whenever I got uh, together with Nicole, I was completely broke, and, sh and she was too. We were, you know, she was actually the breadwinner. She was going to work, and and she's an amazing hairstylist and makeup artist, and she uh, she was taking care of us, man. She'd come home on like a, a payday, and we'd be like, oh, let's put our money together so we can go to Buffalo Wild Wings, get some beers, you know, live life a little bit, and we did. We did that, uh, you know, time and time and time again. And for her to, uh, you know, merge with me, we're 50-50 we're, we're in, uh, in our company. Um, to do all the things that she does now and, it, and what I do, compared to what, what we used to do, man, it's just so different now. All right, we need to really slow down here. You see, I can't even imagine coming to a stop with, uh, with a load like this without a jake break even if it is snowing because you're, you're just gonna slide forever all right we're gonna get, hit the scale here and make them happy so whenever somebody comes at me with uh you know like you're lying you're you're just like every other youtube out youtuber out there they're only in it for the money and blah 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 it's a it's a personal jab and i'll i'll stand up for myself for it pass the inspection what we got Seventy four thousand two eighty four. we're good that's something I would really like to see, though. I want to see what's on my steers. I want to see what's on, on the tandems. That would be so cool, you know? So, yeah, I, I, there's somebody who, who said something about that. And I know it's just one comment in a sea of amazing, positive comments, but it gives us something to talk about, you know? I mean, I could do a video on just all the positive comments because I get a lot of them. Like, you guys are incredible people, and I really, really do read every single one of the comments I possibly can. I try to respond to people the most, the best I can. Sometimes, you know, it's just a little bit too much. All right, after this yellow car, we're going, man. We are going, buddy. There we go. Nice. All right, back on the five north. So that was really crappy to hear. Somebody just, you know, I, I don't have a reason to be fake. I don't. And, uh, you know, I have my sponsorship with Thrustmaster. You know, this is a I talk about all the equipment I use because I get asked that every single video. So it's just easier for me to just tell you what I use. Um, but I am sponsored with Thrustmaster because, you know, I've been using their products since the 90s. My dad had like Falcon 3.0 and uh, some other, like we used to play like NASCAR racing by Papyrus, NASCAR racing. And, uh, you know, he had, had a Thrustmaster joystick and stuff. So when I got to work with them, for the first time it was it was a surreal moment i was like man i i grew up with this stuff so to work for a company like thrustmaster and they treat me so good um they don't change my content at all i mean you see a you know when it's a sponsored video on like the uh microsoft light simulator you see you know the hand cams and stuff like that that's the actual sponsored content but they the reason why i choose to be with them as a sponsor is because they don't try to change my content they're like i don't you don't feel like you're seeing an ad, you know, where you're like, go to this and this, uh, this is blah, 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 blah. And then you go on like, you know, a five minute tangent about that. They don't want that to be a thing. All right. This guy is stuck up here on the right. I can't get over here. That truck's coming. They don't want it to change my content. So that's important to me. Whenever I choose a sponsorship with somebody, uh, next level racing who sponsors the channel with, uh, my, my entire rig and the motion rig and stuff. 
They don't want me to change who I am. And uh, that's important to me because if you wanted to see, if you, if you want to see the amount of emails I get from these companies that want me to do videos and stuff, man, rest area, careful. Um, it's like, you know, manscaped and, and every kind of product you can think of. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm not going to promote that product. It doesn't make sense for this video, the channel. I don't know, dude, but I don't feel any different than I was, you know, when I first started YouTube. So I'm still in it for the right reasons. And that's all that matters to me. I'm coming over car. I'm sorry that I want to get people on the highway and you got to slow down, buddy. You're doing like 80 in that damn, looks like a Tahoe or something back there. I'm getting around this middle end because this dude's scaring me. All right. We got to be on our toes, man. This is some, some heavy weather, man. And we have have a no brakes if we need them. Now, one thing I have noticed with these uh, physics is that there's not a lot of left to right physics happening here. It seems like it really just reduces your braking distance as far as like stopping and all that stuff, which makes sense. Oh, man, we are coming down this hill, aren't we? I'm going slow on it because I don't want to crash. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not seeing like, I don't feel like the trailer is going to get Jack Nivey or anything like that, dude. That sucks. Got a moto unit in the snow. It's not his fault. I'm using the mod, but still, it's funny. All right, I still got that truck next to me. We'll get around him in just a second. I don't want to be in this left lane if I don't have to be. We're good. Coming back over. So yeah, when somebody does that, it, it's like, it's, and I get that a lot, you know, in different places different videos, different genres. And then you have, uh, if you don't have, you know, the experts on every single style of video you do, then you have the, uh, you know, the people that are your analytics department, they come to you and go, your channel is dead or you get X amount of views and blah, 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 blah. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. Uh, I know how to get views. I know exactly what formulas to use and all the, the nonsense, the clickbait and all that crap. I choose not to do that, man. I just don't want to, I don't want to do that. The cl most clickbaity thing you'll ever see me do is like something that sounds like clickbait, but it actually is the, in the video is what I'm actually doing. <laughs> but I don't do that stuff at all. Never have, haven't needed to, um, but. I'll try to explain it for those that, uh, you know, that are in my analytics department. And I appreciate you guys taking, you know, the, the many hours of your life out of your day to, uh, to monitor my analytics and make me a better YouTuber. Yeah, it's a slash S on that. But honestly, um, I run multiple series and I have people that watch just certain series on my channel. You know, it's, it's, uh, the, the channel is going to be approaching 2 million subscribers before too long, which is absolutely mind blowing. Uh, but that is absolutely just so divided. If you saw like what the monthly views are compared to the subscriber count, it all makes sense. But people will see like a video get less views than this video or this video. And it's like, it's all right, man. Dude, that dude is run triples, Coca-Cola, bear, Christmas asshole. You're a Christmas asshole, dude. You just screwed us. You just screwed us. Oh my God, what a jackass. Yup, he just screwed us, dude. Came over, blocked the lane, and then came over again. I cannot believe that, man. I mean, I can, this is ATS, but still. Unbelievable. So anywho, before we nearly died there because that Christmas piece of crap with his triple trailers of trash made us miss our entire exit. Man. Well, unbelievable. That's too real. This stuff's too realistic, man. This is the stuff that happens in the real world. It isn't supposed to happen like that. I got to get over, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They drive like there's no snow on the ground because they, they're AI. They don't know any better. <laughs> I'll get off of Coburg Road and turn around, it looks like. But uh, this is turning into be a little bit of a rambly video, I know. But 
That's all right. I got plenty of stuff to say about all that. But going to look at it, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to sit there and I don't want to just chase after views and stuff. I've been doing it a long time, man. I don't want to get burnt out and, and hate what I do. I love the fact that I have so many different series and it keeps it interesting and I have a lot of people that enjoy certain certain ones, you know? That's uh, that's what matters to me. Come to a stop. And I stream full-time too on Twitch, so it's... No, nah, I'm not in it for the money, dude. No way. No, whoa, hello. Oh, that is a sweet looking Tahoe over there. You see that? Because if I were in it for the money, man, it would probably show because most people can't, they can't hide that crap from people. Look at that. Look at that trooper. Looks so good. Um, you know, I, they can't hide it. It's like <laughs> they could try, but it's like, dude, if every single video you do is like this 10 minute long sponsorship or you can look at the uh, amount of um, ads they have placed in their videos I'm getting this left lane right here it shows too now what i can't stand is when you if you see like a you know a channel that has we'll say over a million subscribers let's we'll say that and say they have decent views you know i don't know um let's just let's give them the benefit of the doubt of that right Bye. If they ever tell you that they're trying to just keep their lights on and blah, 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 and they need to get these sponsors because of this, that is absolute horse shit, man. That's not true at all. Not true at all. They're they're doing okay. They're going to keep their lights on, I promise you. But they, they'll use those tactics to try to say things like, this is the reason why I'm taking this sponsorship or this is why we're promoting this product because we got to keep our lights on. People are very dishonest. I've never been about that. That's not part of me, man. I've tried to be who I am since day one. I have no reason to hide who I am. That's why, I'd, probably why I never chose a pseudonym. Oh, slow her down, brother. We do not need to wreck this thing or jackknife it down this hill here. We're good. Oh, you know why? My engine brake's not on. Whoa. That's why I got, I got a little scary there. We're good now. Never, 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 ever, don't you touch that engine brake in the snow, boy. You're going to kill yourself. That's going to be in the comments you watch. Because on my last video, it was, what, six minutes long? Six minutes and some change. And people still did not listen to the, the, the very beginning of the video. Or wait till after the first thing I did in that video to comment about things in it. That always blows me away, man. It truly does. I'm gonna get over because I don't want to be stuck in this left lane forever. We do not need to do that. I need to come over, bud. Can I get over? Nope, that car. Coming over there. Coming over. Thank you. And you gotta really bully these drivers in, a, in ATS. Um, That's just not about what I do here. That's not it. So. I told him to just leave the channel. Just unsubscribe and go away. Go away, man. We don't need you around. Plenty of other great people around here on these channels, dude. And uh, I appreciate the love and support. I truly do. You guys are incredible people to uh, change my life in the way that that uh, you have. Welcome to Albany. All right, now I'm starting to feel like we're, we're trucking a little bit. Ah, that was just so ridiculous. I can't get over that Coca-Cola, dude. I cannot get over that. I guess I'll have to just get over it, right? Just get over it, won't you? I'm going to wait for the sun to come up before I get a uh, screenshot. That's what I'm going to do. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy winter through here. And that's what I wanted to be way up north in like Oregon and Washington with this mod. I think it would, you know, that was going to be really cool. And uh, I was not wrong. It's pretty damn good. I know it seems like we're going super slow, but I'm telling you, dude, you've seen how slow we've been driving. And whenever that truck did that thing, we couldn't stop. You're like, you can't stop once you're going. So you, you really got to manage speed with this mod. 
And I'm telling you what, the Jake break is saving my life. It truly is. Now I can, you know, move my Jake break setting over to low. And we can just kind of coast down this. Like this guy's going real slow in front of us here. Or you can bring it all the way up. Level three. And back to level one. I mean, you can do all that stuff. Through traffic use, left lanes. Yep, that's what we're doing. I hope this car is getting off the highway, dude. He's going so damn slow. So damn slow. We're in Salem? All right. Okay, man. Can't believe we've, uh, we've almost died twice and we're good. Got turned around. Been talking about everything. But I don't mind that. Okay, we got to watch our traveling distance with this car in front of us because he's going 35 and I'm not about to get in the back end of him when he abruptly... Okay, there you go. Okay, good, dude. Please get out of here. We still got a long way to go here on our, our trip here. I'd rather not have to be stuck behind somebody that's driving. That's, oh, he's in an older car. I get it, dude. You probably got like bald tires and stuff. It's a nice looking car though. Old Cadillac. Well, that's another thing we could talk about. You know, I'm not a real truck driver. So when it comes down to like differential, the, style, the different engines and all that stuff in these different trucks, I can't keep up, man. I I change trucks constantly. I don't, I, I, I don't know them. I, I don't know them inside and out like that. That USA truck looked really cool, by the way. Uh, I don't know them inside and out like that. So you're in the wrong channel for that stuff. You want technical engine specs and differentials and all that stuff. There's other people out there that are way more into that stuff. Now you put me in a, in a cockpit of an airplane, I got you. But you put me under a hood of, a, of a, a truck or a car, I used to work on all my cars. I don't anymore. I couldn't tell you anymore. I used to work on a big, on big, big V8s. Okay, we got road construction up here. This is gonna be a mess. We're going slow. Now, I was doing my trip, because I picked up in Truckee, actually, originally. And uh, I drove last night out of Truckee up to that rest area we started at today. And uh, in VR, actually, I did it in VR. It was amazing. And, okay, watch this guy. I just don't want him to be jotting out in front of us here, boys and girls. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Um, I completely forgot what we we're talking about now. <laughs> that happens way too much, dude. It, it, it never fails because we had like that whole change up thing happen there. Get over to the right. We're in Portland, baby. Um, you have like a, all that happens and then whoop, your entire train of thought just goes out the window. Look at this party getting older. Oh, my memory. It's like the Navy. It keeps coming and going, coming and going. Leave a comment below if you know what that is from. I quote that movie so much and nobody knows it. No one knows it. That one's one, you know, Bobby Donald. Are the boys I don't hear him playing? Lion pot to get you goes in the garbage. I use, I use these all the time and people just don't pick up on them. But I'm one of those kind of people that just, I quote a lot of movies. I don't even feel bad about it, man. Boy, this is taking a little bit getting up this hill, isn't it? We're, we're doing it, though. So, yeah, in America Truck Simulator, um, going back to that runaway ramp video, people were telling me to downshift, and we're driving automated automatic transmissions. That's what I think is what I lost my train of thought on. Um, and you can't downshift an automatic. I mean, you can put it in neutral or reverse. But I mean, I don't, I don't know. Is there like something I don't know about in America Truck Simulator where you can downshift an automated transmission, an automatic? No, I'm gonna call it a damn automatic if I want to. And the reason for that is because when you go in the options of the game, you have H shift and all that and real automatic. It doesn't say automated. It doesn't at all. So I don't care about that one. That's cool. It, the guy's got a uh, 
explore up on his trailer there. But this is a pretty realistic driving simulator. I say that every single time, but man, every time I see these cars go by, whenever I'm in VR, this just feels so real. All right, let's get up this hill, dude. Don't worry, speed limit 50. Not an issue for us. Not an issue. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I think we'll just make this a long video instead of like breaking it up in parts or something. Although it is during the day, so I'm going to get a screenshot and I'll be right back at you. All right. Well, guys, we are outside of Longview. Oh, CFI. Uh, we're outside of Longview, Washington. Now, this is going to be a longer video, so I, we were in some traffic there for a while in Portland. Uh, I had a drawbridge and all this nonsense, so I'll be editing around the boring parts, the boring bits. But we're on our way. Yeah, come on. One mile. We still got a ways to go. We do, we do. But I thought I would just let you know. Got my screenshot. Looked awesome. Using my Jake brake a lot, man. If I didn't have my Jake brake, I don't know how I would stop with this mod. I really don't know how you would stop. Like, you you need to be crawling like 25 miles per hour. But if cars come to a complete stop in front of you, there's nothing you can do. So I'm being really careful about that. I'm trying to read the traffic the best I can. We're not going to Yakima. We're going straight north, baby. Into British Columbia. All right. We have to get off of this exit here at the truck stop and get some fuel. It is that time. You can see there on our fuel gauge, we're pretty low. I'm start slowing down early because these AI, man, they slam the brakes on you. And we got to be ready for it. There we go. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Especially going down the ramp here. It's going to be a little interesting. I'm going to approach it about 15 miles per hour here. Yeah, reroute. Whatever. We're going to the truck stop. It'll be all right. I promise you. Here, this one I can put it on level one. Sorry, level yeah, level one and just kind of coast down this little ramp here to a stop. There's a Coca-Cola over there, too. He's pulling a, a double. Boy, those guys will kill you. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, left here. I figure we'll, uh, I'll show you the uh, refueling process. It's always fun. Okay, is that car going to stop or no? He's going to let us out. Okay, cool. Give ourselves plenty of room here because he pulled way up. I appreciate the help there, bud, but I mean, damn some deep snow over here isn't it now I haven't gotten stuck in the snow yet but I know that you can there we go just got right around there little Caesars pizza pizza all right they have a big truck stop right here which is perfect Turn left. no we're not going left we're not getting back on the highway don't you think about it there buddy I don't think so man yeah, that's that truck stop right up here on the left. We're going to. You don't have to find a new route. We'll be all right. Yep, that's it right there. Cool. Yeah, another gas station right there on the corner, but you can't use it. Which I'm fine with anyway, because this is a big truck stop. I wonder if this is a Loves. Or they call them Hearts. Yeah, it is. It's a Hearts. It's a Loves. We're going to go to the very end and make a left, because that's where all the trucking is. This is all cars and whatnot. We got a suicide lane there to take. We'll go to the very end here. Yeah, there's the trucking. It's the fueling area there. This is the truck entrance. It even says truck entrance, I believe. Imagine that. Yep, truck entry. All right, turn our engine brake off here. Get our trailer in. Yep, it's good to go. Let that fire truck go go around the back side there and then get to the fueling area. I love the addition of the truck stops that they have been doing. And I love the fact that I mean, there's a lot more AI trucks here at these truck stops. Now there's a mod out back in the day. Oh, look at that. You can go and get your truck repaired and stuff. Um, there's a mod that was out back in the day that put a bunch of trucks at truck stops, made it look realistic. Um, but hasn't been updated in forever. And I don't think it works so well. We're going to go to this bay right here on the far left. 
Number one. Pump one, baby. All right, in we go. We're going to get some fuel, and then we'll get right back on the road and get on out of here. All right. Parking brake. Kill our engine here. And uh, we're going to head outside and fuel it on up. All right, fueling it up right now. Here we go. Doing our doing our thing here. We have 58087 trailer. So any Warren drivers out there, we're driving trailer 58087. Maybe you know that one. I don't know. This is a cool area here, isn't it? Got scales there if we need it. Go over there into the uh into the hearts, which is a loves. There was a mod out there that made hearts into loves as well, but not anymore. All right, back up into the truck we go. All right, let's fire this baby up and get on out of here. Here we go. Put her into gear. And we are back on our way towards British Columbia. All right, so we got some fuel. We're going to get back on the road. And I'll uh, catch up with you guys once we do that, because it's going to be a minute getting out of here, I have a feeling. I'm getting on the freeway here, and look at that. The snow finally let up. Imagine that. Well, that's cool. Turn our wipers off here. You get to see some of the beautiful uh, scenery here on the highway. Get on the highway. Yeah. Man, look at that spray, that snow spray. It looks so damn realistic and good. All right, truck. I know you're not doing 80, right? Yep, you're good. Aberdeen, Port Angeles, one mile. Yeah, but you can see the uh, snow mod, what it does. It makes everything really, really deep. The snow is like really thick and deep, but look at that spray from the snow. That is so neat. I'm just gonna say the word neat over and over again. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll love it. We are in Olympia, Washington now, as you can see. And man, it's, uh, it's gorgeous with the snow mod on all the trees. And it's so clear. I can see the traffic way up ahead and that helps so much, man helps me be able to like actually figure out what they're doing because when it's foggy like that you just can't uh you can't see anything and if they're completely stopped there you're just gonna go right into the back end of somebody taking it easy here in Tacoma right now I want to go by this uh, big dome so we can look at that because it looks so darn cool um Eric Dome right there I wanted y'all to see that Look how pretty it is in the snow. Blends in so well with the rest of the scenery. There's a train going down there too. Nice. Oh, Werner, hello. Hello, Werner. Oh, we're still trucking along here. Things are good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Still going good. Aha, we don't have to stop at that way station. We get to bypass it. Yeah. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, I didn't think uh, didn't think this one through. I didn't think it was going to take us this long to get where we were going, but with the speed we've been uh, traveling at, I'm sure it's going to be late and delayed and everything else. I mean, we're still on uh, the five, and we haven't uh, you haven't really changed much here yet. So, we do speed zone ahead. Okay, we'll be ready for that. Watch traffic and just uh, kind of read it out. West Seattle Bridge. We're going to go through downtown Seattle. Maybe I'll have you guys uh, watch all this because it'll be fun. And it's going to be a little bit of on our, you know, we got to be on our toes because, like I said, you know, braking's action is severely lacking with this mod. We're going to be careful here, slowing down. We're good. I almost had to turn my flashes on there for a second, but we're all right. I assume people know we should be going slow through here, so. But yeah, sorry for all the edits today, but I, uh, I just kind of want to keep this under an hour if possible, but I don't know if it's going to be possible, man. I really don't. We're going to try, though. There's somebody out in their uh, Camaro. I'm sure that's fun to drive in the snow. Reduce speed zone. Well, at least it's not snowing. But yeah, because remember when we used the winter mod, we just saw like uh, the ground just like looked like it had just frosty, you know. This looks like actual heaps of snows and or snow banks and all that. Boy, Seattle looks beautiful in the winter. It truly does. Now, I'm pretty sure the AI, they have super 
physics. The physics for the snow only apply to us, so we got to be careful about that. No. The lowest setting of our Jake here, so we just kind of just crawl down that hill. That worked out great. But the AI here been doing pretty darn good, I got to say. I'm pretty impressed with that. Not bad at all. And uh, I'm sure I'll get asked questions about black ice and stuff. I don't think that's a part of the mod. I don't think that they do that. And to get up this hill. And I'm pretty sure that there's going to be snow in the tunnels when we go through it. You see that in a minute. I hear a helicopter over there. He's flying right over us. I don't know what he's doing, but I hear him. I'm going to stick to this lane. This lane on the left ends looks like and they want us in that one so all right dude we can do that i am interested to see though i'm pretty sure the tunnels are going to be snowy but it's just a road texture mod you know yep i hear the helicopter he's right there yeah see that'd be cool if he had like slush and snow and all that stuff but man that's you know something that's going to have to come down the line from SES when they revamp their weather system is having dynamic weather would just be so amazing. I'm going to go back to level two on that retarder or the engine brake. That's what I have that set to. It says retarder on my ASP heavy hauler, but I have it set to the engine brake mode. Um, all right. We made it through Seattle. No problem. So Darwin freeway, all that. Exit only. We're not doing that. We're not going there. So I'll probably get back with you guys once we get to the border of Canada. I was like, a truck got pulled over. Look at that. Yeah, they did. By Washington's finest. Oh, we just stopped at a uh, way station. Got back on the highway. We're all good to go. We got to be getting closer to the border. All right, we're getting off here in Bellingham. Finally going to get on a different road, which is going to take us up to the border of Canada. There's State Street here. Exit 254. But we're taking. And here by the Costco. I think we're going to a Costco, actually. And the destination. I'll have to double check that one. Not really sure. But figured we'd show us getting off the highway and getting on the new road. Which is great because... I'm about done with a five. <laughs> it was, uh, it was always, it's always interesting, but man, the AI were really just keeping you on your toes the whole time. All right, cars go on, go on, go on. We can go after this red one here. There we go. Ducking behind this blazer, Chevy blazer. Now look at that mountain range. That looks beautiful. Good there. Yep. West on 160 here. This is a beautiful little uh, spot here in Bellingham. I do like Bellingham a lot. Uh, we've, you know, done quite a few trucking videos through here, but not so much in the snow. And that uh, lane ends there. We're going to make a right, and then it curves all the way back around, and we go up towards the, the Canadian border. I remember this part. This is really cool. Bottleson Motors here on the right-hand side. You know what? It's going to be a little over an hour video, but I don't, it's uh, nothing we can do about it. I would rather us, uh, you know, get to drive through Canada and the snow and all that stuff. So in the heavy winter mod, at least I don't think we're going to be getting on the, uh, the Coke yet, but, uh, I'm I mean, maybe we will. I don't know. That's going to be interesting if we do, but since we're up here, you know, maybe the next run we do, we'll do, um, something like that. Maybe we'll uh, have to get ourselves a nice, you know, big Peterbilt or a Freightliner XL or a get ready to turn left. W900 in, in manual gearing, and we can uh, really have some fun turn on left. the Hell Highway. Okay. JK moving. Just kidding. Moving, everybody. This way we go. This trailer where it needs to go. Now, if anybody works for Warren or knows Warren, I'm gonna go ahead and go secondary lights. I'm just so tired of seeing that snow like that. Uh, 
blown out with the lights. Um, have you guys ever, do you ever go up to Canada? I assume some of these com companies do go to places like that. I know they have to have like a special like permit or whatever so they can run loads to Canada, but I would imagine it would be like out of the question for a lot. There's money involved in, you know, moving freight in and out of the border. Uh, school bus. Just be catching people around that time. Werner, don't you even think about it, dude. You thought about it. You definitely did. I thought that truck was silver until we got on top of it and it was blue. I was like, Werner is silver? I guess they, you know, they could. But no, he was actually blue. Actually blue. All right, so this is a Canadian border. We take this road all the way around. I know it winds around and then we're going to be at the Canadian border. Like after that gas station and all that stuff. Oh, now it's not starting to go down. We'll put our lights back on. I just wanted to see the, the ground. Get ready to turn oh, here comes the snow again. Here comes the snow again. It's just going to get fun. It's probably going to be just completely snowing by the time we drop turn our run here. Uh, what we got here? What are you doing, buddy? Oberg. Driving from left does not stop. Okay. Good to know. There's train tracks there you gotta watch the train tracks in this game man oh uh, watch this and he's gonna stop though but if you can't stop and those are in the air like that you'll hit an invisible wall there the moment those ding 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 dings happen it puts an invisible wall up so you can't go into it we're gonna take full advantage of this though hey there's a swift driver up here in canada look at that we're taking full advantage of this right here it should be a short train. I don't have the longer train mod in. It was causing too many issues for me in the past, so that's the reason why. Oh, did that, uh, that driver? Yeah, the Warner driver. There he is. Sorry, bud. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, did he uh, follow us out? Looks like it. Okay. Make sure the train doesn't come back through again and Get ready. kill us. That'd be bad. Okay, right hand turn here after this van. Mm, plenty of room there. Awesome. Just enough. Get around that pole. You'd be surprised how much you have to swing for these 53 foot trailers. But you do. You definitely do. Back into the evening time we go. All right, we got to be getting to the border soon, though. I can tell. Oh, those poor cows—they're probably freezing. And a little bit of green out here. A little bit of green on the ground still. That's a limitation of uh, of what uh, it, the guy who makes the frosty winter weather mod—he does not like that. Actually, oh man, this is like just straight ice right here. Barely stop. All right, JB Hunt, what's up, man? All right, just swing that way like that. Should be enough for our trailer. Yep. Like this. With it as snowy it is, uh, as it is, I'm going to be careful about this crossing because I don't want it to come down on top of us. No train. Okay. Hit it. No messing around, man. <laughs> I've been uh, been burned by that one many times. For those of you that watch my live streams of uh, ATS know we've been hit by that one a few times. All right, so we made it to Sumas. What do we got? We're making a right turn up at the light. I'm gonna get in this lane. I heard the uh, crossing come down right there. Don't you do it, dude. Truck spur, keep right. Keep right and then yep, because we're going to go through. Trucks must turn right. Oh, I can't stop, man. I can't stop. Woo. Yikes, dude. This, uh, a little rough right here. That's the thing. Your brain, I play this game so much. I'm not used to the not having the brakes when you need them. So you really got to slow down early. Truck spur, turn left. Yep, got it. Yeah. And if I didn't have the help of that engine brake, man, we'd just be screwed. Going after this guy here. No, not your turn. Doesn't work that way. Go straight 
Okay. Well, we made it to the border, everybody. What does this say? Uh, something law for something, something. Who knows? Oh, look, there's no snow on this. Nice. I bet there's uh, still the physics, though. <laughs> All right. Engine brake off. Let's make everybody happy. Let's make the, our super, uh, super trucker guys happy with this one. And we're not going to pull the parking brake at the gate. Because we don't want to hurt the eardrums of our virtual people Finding around here. Finding a new route. All right. Come to a stop here. We're going to put it in neutral, actually. And shut the engine off. There we go. I'm going to roll. Oh, I couldn't even roll my window down because I forgot to do that. That's all right. Um, let's go ahead and start the border. Check. And see what they say to us here. Make sure it's all good to go. It'd be nice it, if once in a while you would get like, it's no good. You, you have to turn around. <laughs> all right. We're good to go. All right. Start the engine up. Don't want to touch the parking brake, put it back into gear. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a nice journey, they say. Calculating the route. All right. Um, the railroad tracks here could bite us in the butt. Let's be careful about that. Getting on out of here. Let's just hit it, man. No screwing around. That's a little dangerous. All right, welcome to Canada, everybody. British Columbia, Canada. It's the law, no handheld devices. Good. I would hope that would be the law. There's a Canadian flag. Made it back up here into Canada land, everybody. Oh, that's cool back there. Because we place the park up, if they would let you. Oh, sorry, Impala. Kind of sightseeing here a little bit. Ooh, man. Slower down here. We made it to Abbotsford. Our destination. Maybe this will be right around an hour. I don't know if it doesn't take us 30 minutes to back up. <laughs> Sometimes that happens too, where it takes about a half hour to back the damn thing in. And I don't know what where we're dropping yet. I'm pretty sure it's a Costco, but we'll see. I need to get in the left lane, looks like. Yep. I need to get over. Sorry, guys. Let me over. Nope. Not going to do it. That's the car back there is going to do it. Thank you. That was a cool dude. We'll say thank you to him. I'm being very careful here because I don't want to smash in the back end of a car. We made it this far, right? To so just getting in an accident. Like a bunch of dummies. All right. The brake doesn't need to be on right now. Well, that's cool. We did a pretty much a whole day of driving, you know? So yeah, there's going to be some chops and edits here and there, but that's just going to, I'm going to try to keep this thing right around an hour if possible. Although, you know what? I mean, with it being an hour, just, it's a long, long winter haul, basically. All right, let's go ahead and make our left appear. Yep. We are going to Costco. I was correct. Abbotsford discovered. No secondary wipers here, because now it's really starting to come down. Now well, it's about the same as it's been. They don't really have a level of that. Oh, we got the flashing green. Oh, there's something going up there at the uh, this, that gas station there. All right, bus, you see me, right? Yeah, you do. Cool. All right, this is the Costco here on the right, and I think this is just a pre pretty easy one to drop at Get ready. yeah we're dropping right there it looks like interesting turn right and then turn right. how do you even get back there oh, okay I see you like right there we could actually back in off the street but it looks like we have enough room in the back there we could turn around and straight back it that's what I would like to do we'll find out here in a second won't we this is looking pretty easy though I mean look at that yeah this is simple we go up there, do a U-turn, come straight down. Oh yeah, that's simple, man. 
we don't even have to uh, back it in. What? This is a first for me. That is a first for me. I mean, plenty of room to work with here, too. Boy, you don't get these every day. An easy one. Yeah, I thought we'd have to back in like back there or something. That would have made sense. But nope, they're like, dude, we want it right here. And I'm, I'm down with that. We can do it. I don't mind that at all. This is super easy. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> I thought we were going to get the back end today, but we did not. Did not have to do it. It's a pull through. Well, we might have to get it a little straighter here. We'll see how she goes. And yeah, it's a little crooked still. Okay, I see. They're still going to have us do a little bit of work here. Not much, but a little bit. You know what? I'm going to get out and look, and we're going to see how close we are to those. I can't see anything over there, and I know that there's a bunch of crates there. And we did when we just got to back this pretty much straight in. It should be pretty simple, but we'll see. And we have an excuse to get out and walk around. So, uh, yeah, it looks like those are right there. This one here is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. If we just go straight back, we should be good. I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. We could smack under those very easily. But yeah, just straight back, it looks like. And we'll be all right here. I hear a train over there. Very cool. Yeah, that's not a bad one at all. We got so lucky. So just turn the wheels to the left. Yeah, it will be good here. Simple, simple, simple. Well, I say it'll be simple and watch me screw it up. <laughs> all right. Let's bring the trailer back that way. So basically this way. that I want to make sure we had it just on that white line there and not overcomplicate this there we go now we turn back with the trailer so we're not being stupid boy this thing is difficult in this uh icy snow condition because it does not want to stop when you move it it doesn't want to start either there we go a little bit more there there we go a little bit wiggle it this way see it's still moving I'm holding the brake down Whew. Here we go. Straight back. Yeah, this one was a simple one, man. Cannot complain there. Sweet. We made it. Let's see how late we were with all the uh, nonsense going on, you know? All right, let's unload it. We got a excellent, actually. Look at that. 979 miles, 29 hours and seven minutes of game time, 194.3 gallons of fuel consumed. How beautiful is that? What a fun drive that was, too. You really had to be on top of your game. Like, you saw how many near misses we had um, just from following distance and with the fog. Like, maybe I should have even went further back, you know? Um, I wanted to show you the Lamad load order I have for the winter physics. I'm sure people won't read that in the SES forums. So, I'll show you my mod manager here real quick. And uh, we've gone over this so many damn times that you can just, you know, simply pause the video if you want to see the other mods. Um, so frosty, no foggy weather, frosty and the foggy weather is just during the day. It'll still do it in the morning, and the evening, um, heavy winter. That's what we were using today. The frosty physics 3.0 and then frosty 3.0. That is the load order for that. Everything else we have screech bombs, uh, engine sound pack 3.4. I already removed that. Stop putting that back in. Um, and then yeah, pro mods Canada is out. So, uh, you need to go and grab it. And this is where you put everything there, just so you know. Uh, and then everything else you've seen before many, many, many times. I don't have to show you it again. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of America Truck Sim. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'm enjoying the heavy winter mod. We're going to keep it in for the rest of December. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available. If you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.